I would come from time to time to an MCG match or whatever, but often I was watching on telly and you could even sense it from that with the helicopter shop, say of the 89 grand final, that this for a moment is the center of the universe, this MCG. And even the topography around it with those paths which spoke their way down to the MC, like it's as if people have come from the world to this particular place for this particular moment. And then if you take the other side of that and say, well, let's forget about that moment for a moment because something is about to happen. Let's have a look at one of the, re or what, why this piece, place is so important to people. You then have 150 years of history. So it's so storied. There are so many stories in that place. There are so many things that have happened there across cricket, across footy, across other sports, across other elements of life. So much has happened. People, it is, people have such memories about that place that it's, it's a significant cultural uh, element of Australian life. Being a British colony, it took on the cultural elements of a, a British society. And being the 1850s, 60s, 70s, sport was becoming increasingly important to people in, in the old country. You had that whole Tom Brown school days, muscular Christianity, this sense that a, a good mind in a, in a healthy body was was important part of a balanced life. You add to that this possibility that the 44-hour week freed up a Saturday afternoon. Well, what do the masses do if they've got nothing to do on Saturday afternoon? They're going to run out of money on the punt, so they can't just go to the races. Well, let's put a fence around these ovals and charge them t tuppence to get in. We're going to make a fortune out of it, you know, that those who own this concept, and equally, the, we're going to keep uh, the masses happy. Uh, so it was, a, it was a nice relationship, a symbiotic relationship, and a story that I couldn't believe when I heard. But, you know, down Collins Street, where all the chaps were working away in their suits, what would they do at lunchtime? They'd pop up to the, or pop down to the MCG, I suppose, uh, for a net. So you'd take your cricket kit or there'd be kit down there and off you'd go in your suit and you'd get the handsome cab to the MCG and there were professional bowlers who would bowl to batsmen who were club members. You could go and hone your skills. The gentleman cricketer. So you got the leather of the long room, you've got the MCC dining room and then you can go and get a chico roll underneath the at the, at, the, at the punt road end, you know, if that's, if you can work out what that purple stuff in a chicken roll actually is, you know.